Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of the brand new podcast, Behind the Stream. Bubba Dojo, it is me. Is it you? Is it really you? Are you really here? As most of you know, I'm that old internet scamp gaming wall dad, and uh, I'll let my my co-host here introduce herself. Hello, I am Tasha, also known as Tasha Who. Who? 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 Me. That's right. Um, <laughs> Tasha and I go back. We're both members of the soon-to-be obsolete Knockout City Creator crew, and uh, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, but yeah. welcome on into the. This is the. This is actually. This is kind of the pilot episode, almost the test episode. Y'all are test guinea pigs. Sorry. Hope you signed the waivers when you got here. But let's talk a little bit about what what you can. What you can experience, experience is the word I'm looking for. What you can expect, that's the EX word I was looking for. What you can expect from this channel and from this podcast. So, Behind the Stream is all about getting to know the people that make the content you love to watch. Whether it's Twitch streamers, TikTokers, Instagram models, or not models, but Instagram uh, influencers, YouTube sensations, whatever it is. We want you to get to know the people behind those channels who do the things that you love so much. I know, Leo, I'm I'm excited. All the words are in my head right now. (laughs) Models on top of models on top of models. Oh, Uncle Bubbles. This is not. It's not that kind of channel. Okay, this isn't OnlyFans. Boom. That's sorry. <laughs> Dead um, moment. Boom. Oh. <laughs> let's let's just take for friends that have been here. Let's just take a moment and and mourn the retirement or celebrate the retirement of Dad moment. Okay, I'm done. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> oh, but so best. so here is what you can expect. Every week, we're going to have a live streamed interview just like you're watching right now tonight, all right? We're going to play a game. We're going to ask questions. We're going to get to know our guests really well. We're going to let them talk about things that are uh, important and passionate for them. And then that live stream is going to get turned into an audio podcast that you'll be able to hear on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and wherever you find your podcast content, all right? Um, it's we're still keeping things interactive here. If you have a burning question for your guests, there's two really easy ways you can ask those questions. Number one, if you're a sub, if you are sub to the channel right now, you can type exclamation point question, and type in your question, bada bing, bada boom, how you do. We are good to go. If you're not a sub, totally fine. You still get to play along. Uh, Go into the channel point menu and look for ask a question. I made it really cheap on purpose so that people could, uh, so that everyone could ask questions of the people showing up here. If you hit that subby, let's talk about some of the perks you're going to get right now, okay? Number one, you get streams like this that are just for you. Not, you know, not just any person can walk in here right now. Subs and VIPs only tonight. Going forward, the streams will be available for everybody to watch. Right now, it's just y'all. You will get early access to the podcast. You'll get it before it gets released to the rest of the world. You will get video uh, question submissions that you'll get to put in. Yo, Rat King, thanks for the biddies, buddy. Let's talk about that hype train. I I did not miss the hype train, y'all. We will talk about that real, real soon because y'all are some legends, okay? Um, But we are, and I lost my train of thought. It's going to come back to me. Oh, sub perks. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get early access. You're gonna get video submissions. You're gonna get to participate in sub only polls uh, regarding topics we talk about and guests that we invite to the show. You're gonna get access to the uh, exclusive sub channel in the Discord, and then more things as the as the channel as the uh, podcast grows. More things will be popping up. So. 
the subby is going to be way worth way way more than the 495 or whatever you pay for it right now okay and yeah prime subs they count too you know yes they do they most certainly do but that's enough about the channel and this you're going to hear a lot more about uh what behind the stream is but you know what i want to do right now tasha that's probably the same thing what do you want to do? do we've got somebody waiting for us Yes. And it's someone that I've known for a very, very long time. I like to call myself an OG of his channel because I've been there. I've, I've been around since right about the beginning. I remember the first time I found his channel. It was in, from, from just from square one. It was engaging. It was fun. It was on Facebook gaming, too, where it was hard to be engaging and fun. But he did it. He made it work. Um, he's over on Twitch now. He makes great uh, TikTok content. He's got a really cool story about a bus that we're going to hear later. Uh, it's none other than our dear, dear friend, Uncle Mumbles. There he is. <laughs> and he's picking his nose. Oh, oh I thought I was going to have more of it. Okay. Well, what's up, man? Oh, my bad. Hey, what's up? How are you oh, doing tonight? Oh, Uncle Mumbles. How are you, bud? We're ah, so happy to have doing? you. Oh Cleared my gosh! I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. The pipes are good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. strong. I'll be ready. As if the hype train wasn't like the best way to start this. That that is a close second. Is you? This is your the nose. exclusive hey, you know, content that you get, guys. This is yeah. Those of you listening to this as a podcast later, go back and watch the vod. His finger is like two knuckles deep in his nostril. <laughs> okay, it was a two knuckler. Without nah, question. We're clean now, though. We're good we're, now, though. Okay, well, that's good. good. I'm going to have to work on my camera's face, too, because I was sitting there <laughs> watching as it was happening. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was good. That was good. Man, this so is the happy. first. I have enough time to practice. So while we're getting <sighs> going, chat, since this is kind of our test run tonight, feel free um, if, if audio v- volumes are weird, if someone's too loud, someone's too soft, please feel free to let us know right now. Uh, I'd be mm-hmm. happy to get that stuff fixed earlier. Uh, I, I'd rather do it now than uh, later yeah, on. But um, you know, let's kick things off. Uncle Mumbles, tell us, tell us about, tell us about where it all came from. Where, what is Uncle Mumbles? Where does the channel and the name and everything? Where does it come from? The mic is yours, friend. Yes. Great, great questions. Um, so the name Uncle Mumbles. Um, I am an uncle to a dozen nieces and nephews, so it is legit. You, it's it checks out. Um, Mumbles. I uh, I don't know why. I speak very clearly. I don't. I still don't understand. You really do. Why? Why people think I, I mumble? I don't even get it. Um, so uh, no, I I do mumble a lot. I have to I have to focus on enunciation. I got like my. I got to say things clearly. Uh, but if you watch long enough, then you'll know that I, I you catch me slipping often. Um, but no, I um, it just comes off the tongue real nice. Uncle Mumbles. It really right? does. You know? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I do have to kind of give some credit to my wife for that because she she's we'll be hanging out and uh, she'll say, what was that, Mumbles? And I was like, OK, enough of this. It was like five years. So you got the Mumbles, you got the uncle. Bam had a baby uncle there mumbles uncle mumbles yeah. I, I love taking the thing that she used to make fun of you I'm like you know what i'm gonna repurpose exactly. this as something mm-hmm. for me it's a I positive love it. thing now mm-hmm. turns out i love it turns out there my, you go it's my favorite thing in the world so there <laughs> um awesome. but yes no I, go ahead. I did start out on uh facebook as you uh, as you mentioned um and that's where we actually met that's right um you you helped me get to my first level up there, and that's when it first became real for me. Oh, man. Back in the old, very simple, basic days of game and cam, and that was that's it. That's all it was, right? <laughs> man. And you showed up, and you had a good enough time. You shared, shouted me out to your community, and um, the rest is history, really. And here we are. So now you're doing this full time now, yeah? Uh, full time, full time. Yeah, I, I went nice. back, got the information, started in March of 2019. I don't know if you guys remember what else happened in March of 2019, but Mm. uh, yeah. So I, um, at that time I was just like, you know what, this job is getting in, turning into something I wasn't really liking anymore. It was a really well-paying office manager job. And um, I had just been so bored and I didn't really know, like I I felt lost in life. And so I was like, you know what, I want to do something meaningful. There's something that I, I really just feel like is compelling me to go do and my and with the support of my lovely wife she called me mumbles and that was the birth of it um so we we just got it going and 
you know, I'm just constantly learning something new every day. It's kind of what you have to do around here. Uh, yeah, I, I want to touch on something you just said. The the supportive, I'll say supportive spouse or significant so, other, it's yeah. really like it's everything because if it's that if, if it's necessary, if that's not there and it causes any kind of free, it just it it it's not it, impossible. It, it, yeah, you've got to find that way to balance it. I I could not agree more. My uh, right. my, my spouse is also extremely supportive. Shout out. Um, you know, as, as much help as you've gotten <laughs> from you. from your wife, same for me. Actually, this this lovely uh, logo we're looking at here in the the middle of the screen Ooh. was was all her doing. Yeah, we sat down the other night and she was oh, just like, nice. "Oh, I've got an idea," and just magic starts. Ka-ching! Yeah, exactly. Just starts you know flowing from her ears. It's it was fantastic. It's beautiful. Looks it, good. Yeah, I, I'm I like. She, her, her making that logo was when I was like, "Oh, this is real. This is getting ready to happen." And I got, right. su- mm-hmm. I got super pumped, and got so excited for tonight. Imprint. I've been like, <laughs> I have been waiting for tonight for. Her. The idea only came up a little bit ago, but like, I didn't realize how badly this is the thing that I really want yeah. to do, and I'm, I'm super excited. I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm getting giddy. <laughs> I'm, re- I'm really hyped for you, and then, I know yeah. that the value is going to be just. Really uh, I, I, I really appreciate the kind words, and like, and what a way to start off. I'm going to shout out chat now here for a second. What a Ooh. way to start off a brand new concept, like a complete 180 in direction of from what we have been doing. Then with a level two hype train. So chat, give you all, give yourselves a pat on the back. Thank you. Good for you. Good for you, right? I really appreciate that. That really like. That was a big leap, and that made it feel so much more comfortable and so much more like, okay, maybe we are doing the right thing here. So oh, I yeah. really appreciate that a lot. So here's how it's going to work tonight, Chad, okay? All these streams, every time we do this, uh, our guest is going to be playing a game with one of us, with either me or with Tasha, okay? Um, the Whoever is not playing the game is going to kind of act as like our panel moderator. It's going to be asking questions and things like that. Like I said, if you want to ask a question, exclamation point question, and then type it in. Or if you're not sub to the channel, if you're on the VIP list, but you're not a sub, you can use the channel point redemption. Okay, It's only 100 points. It's real cheap. And then uh, those questions will populate on a list, and we'll ask those towards the end of the stream. All righty. But um. Uh, Mumbles, you want to tell them what we're playing tonight? It's a classic for you and me. The old uh, tried and true. It's, well, it's the old game. I don't really play it too much anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, we're going to get into some Rocket League. And, yeah, uh, gonna, we're going to get into some I'm Rocket gonna, League. I've actually already got it loaded up. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see how good this guy's gotten. Uh, I, I, know, uh, I know he's been practicing the sticks. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about all that now. I don't know about all that. <laughs> but let's, uh, yeah, so, let's get it right. Are you in the game? On. I'm in. I'm I'm, okay. I'm waiting on you, man. <laughs> all right, all right, here I am. I'm ready. <laughs> Rocket you, League, hardly. Oh, Flo. If ever, if ever there was a time for a dad moment, that was the time. <laughs> Low budget. Yeah, that's yeah, right, Toby. Just just some you know little indie indie number. No one's ever heard of it. Low budget indie game. Yeah, oh, right. Man. That's all it is. Oh man. There we go. Gosh, ain't that the truth, though? I love the floppy disk top. Right. Or antenna, I, I, I mean. Look at that. I can't undo it. I you can't. can't you can't it. not. You know what? Um, That's one of them old five and a half, right? Five mm-hmm. and a quarter? In that spirit, I'm going to pull out a classic uh, GWD Rocket League fit. Let me Ooh. find it here real quick. Oh, I'm ready. Let me see where, where, I, where I stashed the old chestnut. Okay, <laughs> there's that. We got, we got to change that topper, though. We got to go with that. Classic GWD topper. Where's it at? Where are you at, you son of a gun? Alright, here we go. Ah. There it is, man. I just realized I've been talking and my ma- my mic was muted. See, tech support. <laughs> oh, no. La 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 la. <laughs> the live so thing. So anybody in chat, right if you notice there's no color to my mic, let me know because sometimes I just kind of you can't hear me. So <laughs> never said I was a professional. <laughs> Oh, I'm already seeing these questions roll through. I'm yeah, we already, we already got questions popping up into the Discord. Yep. I'm excited uh, about it. As a matter of fact, I can go ahead and get them going if you want to. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's rock and roll. We're going we're gonna to hop in and play some, uh, I think we're going to play some casual twos, yeah? Okay. Well, the first question comes Sounds in good. from Tasha Who, and she did ask, did Mumbles wash his hands after digging for gold? Uh, the answer is no. Oh, the answer is no. Yes. I'm about to handle this controller heavily too. Oh goodness, six <laughs> six feet apart, six feet apart. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, let's see. 
when did you know you need a different lifestyle? Like when you need to switch lanes and find your passion? Oh, man, that is uh, that's such a good question. Um, I kind of knew once I, it was just the daily grind, right? So you're just sitting there at your work, doing doing your business, and then it just dawned on me like I was just miserable. I was I was like depressed. I wasn't myself. I um, I just wasn't happy. And and the amount of money, the the, let's say the big paycheck that I was getting just wasn't um wasn't bringing me any joy or happiness. And uh, the world was falling apart. And I just wanted to help people keep stuff together i just wanted to help people know that they weren't alone because i was feeling really alone so i, I um thank you thank you <laughs> um and so i just i was watching my friends you know kind of build these incredible communities and just seeing you know just the distraction from all the noise um and i was like man i just really want to help other people do that too uh oh Free, free shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It, it took teamwork to screw that one up, didn't it? No problem. <laughs> um, but uh, I just, my heart was just calling out to helping others. And so I was like, this is a fun way that I can just be positive and I can, I think I'm hilarious. And so um, I just thought it was a great outlet to do that. And, um, you know, when you start out, you always like hope to be you know, super successful. Um, but I think you kind of have to just like realize that it's going to take time. And yeah. so that's, that's a whole nother battle in its own. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's had its ups and downs, but, uh, it was really just as long as I'm just committed to what my, Ooh, I thought that was going, I thought I had it. I thought it was dropping. My, I thought as, as long as I, um, just say committed to just, even if I make one person, um, happy or laugh, or distracted long enough, then um, then I'm doing it, and so that's kind of like what where I try to stay, where I try to keep my headspace. Um, but uh, I totally that, feel that. That's where I um, that's where I just started, and I feel like I've I still just try to remind myself every day just to stay there and and be there and be present for the people that are here. Yep, I All love right. that. You know, so, yeah. so many people say, I mean, I want to start streaming, and and they have these like these grand visions of being like the next Dr. Disrespect or the next Ninja. And that's All great. Right. It's yep. great to have that kind of aspiration, but absolutely, you can't get into it for, it's, it's, it's like teaching. You don't get into it for the money because the yeah. money's, All right. it takes a, you if, know. Yeah. With content, the money can happen. With teaching, not so much, but. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> well, there's so many things that go into it, not just even, I mean, Twitch can take you so far. You have to kind of spread yourself wide across social media. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Um, that's one thing, you know, that's, that's a gamble that, you know, it's not really a gamble per se, but it's something that people need to keep in mind is that you have to do a whole lot more than just playing video games on a video, on a camera to it, make money. Exactly. I, I talk exactly, about, yeah. I talk about with my kids when I'm teaching a lot as a, I call it the iceberg, which where it's where. Um, the people who watch your streams, they only see the very tip of everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, same oh, thing absolutely. when you're an actor or a musician is that you right. are, there's so much more happening below the surface that nobody ever sees. And mm -hmm. nobody realize, yeah. a lot of people don't realize, unless they're in the business, actually has to happen to make it successful. Yep. Right. And that's what I think. This is going to be such a great uh, resource for people that maybe don't know or have questions. It's like, uh, well, you you about to find out. You, yeah, you, <laughs> you, you about to figure find it out. out. <laughs> the harsh truths. No, but that's that's a great question. And the why is always going to be different for everybody. So right. I think mm -hmm. maybe just keeping that question is like a, a staple. Is, uh, is gonna be really good going. Yes. Look at this guy, yeah. look at keep this guy. A, keep it a staple. You don't necessarily have to have it ironclad. I mean, my why has changed so many times over the last sure. two years of my streaming, so. Yeah, and so absolutely. right now I'm in the, I don't feel like it, so. I mean, what you're, <laughs> looking, at right, what you're looking at right now is a huge why change, right? It's a whole, it's a completely much different so. setup than, than if you, you know, I streamed exactly. two weeks ago yeah. and things are yeah. completely different, you know, it's cause yeah. the what and why it's just, it, it happens. It's very fluid. It's very very much so. fluid. Yep. Exactly. Very fluid. And as long as you're having a good time doing it, then I don't think anyone's really going to mind what, what it is that you're doing. They're bro, just, they're just going to be with you. Yeah. There you What's go. The shout out? There you go. Drink water. Have fun. Keep Drink it wholesome -ish. Yeah. So, hey, so, <laughs> you know, I, I'm happy, Crow. I'm happy you did that. Those shout outs, everyone. If you put, if you uh, redeem, shout me out. 
Uh, that's going to end up at the end of the podcast in the credits. I will have a shout out section where I will read uh, what you wrote. That was my ball, and I turned left. My bad. That's all right. That's okay. Um, we got this still. Yeah. We were going to have a section at the end of the podcast for the shout outs where I will read within reason, right? Uh, RS25, right. Uh, what you type into the shout out. Yeah. <laughs> and also a note, speaking, I'm going to go back to the questions. Just based on the context of the chat and stream, I'm going to actually do two questions together because they seem to kind of go together based on this context okay. Okay. Uh, from Ye. Make sure I don't butcher you by his name. Ye Leo 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Asked two questions up here. A question for Uncle. Did you mean to not visit RS25 wannabe games? <laughs> God. How many questions do I get to skip? Huh? Follow up question. <laughs> <laughs> You said uh, follow up question. Idea. You, I mean, I, do we have a set number? <laughs> well, the follow up question is, is if you could ban one person, who would it be? So oh, I figured context. Okay, 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 okay. The dolls were fighting. I was like, you know what? I was going to go ahead and just oh, be messy Lord. and just put these two God. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Um, so those of you that need the backstory on this, uh, my wife and I, <laughs> um, we uh, we picked up a small, a short school bus in Virginia, and I live in Oregon, so we took a one way flight to uh, Virginia. And uh, we found out that my new friend at the time, new streamer friend, total acquaintance, also lives in the area, along with GWD. Now, I <laughs> had arranged a, uh, a lunch date, right, GWD? Yes. Right? Isn't that That's isn't right. That we, we, okay. we, we, we hung out in Richmond, Virginia, and had delicious Thai food. I feel exactly. like I just turned into Sally Jesse Raphael. I am so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. Um, Oops. no, it's, uh, so anywho, I had gotten into contact with RS25 and said, uh, Hey, we're going to be in the area. What are you doing? He's like, Oh, I'm at work. So I moved on. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I did intentionally not visit RS25 games. I mean, in, of, okay, in all fairness, I mean, um, when that, when that <laughs> trip occurred to air out the laundry, when that trip occurred, <laughs> It was like, okay, where are you going to be? Here's where right. I am. Let's meet in the middle. So, sure. you know, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, drove a, we drove a decent amount to come visit. But, you know, oh. totally worth it. We had a, uh, we had a fantastic uh, yeah. time. Oh, it was so good. We even went to, uh, what was it, uh, a record slash Oh, we went to, yeah, it was a used record store. Oh, jealous. Yeah, oh, it was so awesome. Good. And, and I, um, and I, I didn't know that the, uh, the bus uh, radio worked, so I totally could have bought that uh cassette you could have oh no was. oh but i was thinking God. about it the other day i was like oh i could have got i think it was a uh, stone or sound garden sound garden yeah it was sound garden yeah it was a it tape was sound garden it was a cassette, yeah, cassette tape. tape yep oh I man it up. i was thinking about that literally yesterday uh, um so but if i could do it all over again i would stop riot okay it's been years. <laughs> oh my gosh! Come on, you're uh, but I did. I did also just meet uh, Leo in uh, in L.A. Oh, nice. Um, and so I, I think he's kind of biting his thumb at you, sir. And uh, I'm I'm sorry, Ryan. Mother's a hamster. You. Father smells of elderberries. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Exactly. <laughs> We're oh, old. Oh. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Not too well, much. We're gonna start paying copyright on that stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll we'll bring it back to the softball stage. Bubba okay, Dojo okay. has asked, "How much time do you typically spend a day just on production for your daily stream?" Bubba, for the daily, great that's a, that's a good question. That is a, that is a good great question. Um, it depends on the mood. <laughs> no, but I'd say I'd say probably pre and post uh, total about an hour. Um, but, uh, that's, that's an average. Some days I'll spend, you know, three doing intros or tweaking lights or updating this app, which now doesn't talk to that app. And so <laughs> figuring out how to, uh, how to remedy that. But yeah, on average, probably about a, probably an hour pre and post. Another factor for budding streamers is that, you know, you d more times than not, you can't just turn it oh, on and no. get started. Yeah. You, you gotta do a lot of quality no. control. Yep. And no, even me two years in, I still come on and something's not working. So Oh yeah. The tech gremlins, man, they happen all the time. Yes, they all do. Everything could be working perfectly with no issue. Nothing updates or changes, and then you turn on the computer the next day and all of your inputs are yep. everything, sort of everything is totally jacked, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so 
yeah, you won't know until you start up. So yeah, you, typically I'll, I'll, I'll get on my computer about half hour before the show just to make sure everything's going, make sure I got enough coffee in my veins, um, you know, important things like that. Excuse me. But great question. This stream has been brought to you by coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Copious amounts of cocaine. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I missed something. No, never, no, never, never, never. He missed. Or, this is an after dark show, right? Oh man, <laughs> it is now. It is now. <laughs> Whether we wanted <laughs> it to be or not, that's where we're going. Fucking bad. Oh. Fucking bad. And it's just another petty question. And of course, guys, if you do want to ask more oh. questions, keep them rolling. Um, right. Queen Crollo has asked, "Can we ban Leo and RS25?" Just asking for a friend. And in parentheses, uh, it's me. I'm the friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which channel? Hey, Jen, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> You're first, Queen. <laughs> yeah, right. Dun dun dun. We have arrived at um, the Thunderdome portion of the ting. <laughs> Thunderdome. Users get to battle each other for the right to to, to not be banned. Ooh. Two right. users oh. enter, one enter leaves. Oh, one use. I, you know what? I messed that whole thing up. Scratch. <laughs> but. I love it. I didn't uh -oh. say I was articulate. Good fake. Good fake. Good fake. Oh, so close. Nice try. Let's get it before OT. <laughs> yeah. They're nervous. They're nervous. They are. Oh, why are you doing that? I, oh. well, now that we're oh, waiting no. on other questions. Oh, no, I'm nervous. Ooh, uh -oh. Now y'all nervous. I'll let y'all do y'all's thing for no, a second. Good. I'll we're watch. <laughs> 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 what are some of your favorite games that you do enjoy streaming? Ooh, uh, I think the main. Oh, um, no. I, I've learned that if you, uh, if you stick with it, with one game, I mean... People really do tend to come back. Um, someone told me uh, when I was first starting out to treat it like a favorite TV show. So always be the same time, always do the same game. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. like, no, that can't be right. And so I've tried, <laughs> I've tried variety, and it just, it does, it doesn't stick. Um, so I'll do my variety in the evenings now. Every now and then I'll do a, just like a night show, uh, and I would kind of recommend that for people that are starting out. I, I thought it was. Uh, maybe not true maybe it was specific to the person but it is kind of specific to uh to the audience they're they're expecting something there we go baby nice work nice. Sure. nice very nice Thank very you. nice um but yeah i mean for me personally and from what uh i think my audience wants tns thanks for the sub yeah, i appreciate you the rocket league mm -hmm. they come for that in the morning nine to noon and then um you know it if People like watching me get scared because I jump really easily. So he does. <laughs> we, I'm very jumpy and it's annoying. Like I, I wish I wasn't. But I have to it's... recruit you into playing Devour with some of us in that case. <laughs> oh man, I've seen the trailer. It looks terrible. It's awful. I, I was uncomfortable for hours <laughs> after playing that game. Outlast is also terrible. I, I have not played that awful. either for the same reason. Absolutely awful. Like I played Dead by Daylight a lot, and that game actually became less scary once I played it. Devour, yeah. not so much. It was worse. It was oh, much man. worse. I was I was visibly angry with the game and like having to finish <laughs> it. I was like, this game sucks. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. And Chad was just eating it up. They loved it. They're like, yeah, yes, suffer. Ha ha. But no, that was the one game I was like, we have to finish because I I just need to be done with this game. Oh, nice shot. Well, Thank and you. salute for you actually coming through because it hadn't been me. Like, well, we're gonna, we're about to go move to Fall, guys. Let's go. We need something pretty and colorful. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, y'all yeah. not gonna see me sweat and meet there. Yeah, it was rough. funny. It was rough. Yep. But um, yeah, we're working on. Uh, it's it's not like as scary, which is a nice change of pace. But I just um, I was gifted Dying Light too, and I'm having way yeah. more fun with that uh, as a quote unquote scary game. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's, it's mostly Rocket League. Um, but, uh, when it's like subscriber nights or whatever, um, you know, I like to, uh, I can't even think of Jackbox. Oh like Jackbox yeah. Is really fun. Those are great. Like, Love Jackbox. Humor. like anything with just humor, I'll, I'll eat it up. Let me know if you have a murder trivia party. I would love to come in. Oh, okay. Chat. That's okay. my, that is my uh, wheelhouse. That sounds so good. <laughs> I love some murder trivia party. Yes. All right, we got some more questions roll in. Um, really quick one from the doughy fat one. Oh, uh, that's his doughy That's doughy <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I love that you said doughy fat one, though. I, I mean, 
I, 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 I call Joey that too if it helps. That's a bad oh, habit. Man. I love it. I'm so glad that it's happening. That was that was incredible. Not, you oh, love not you, alone. Joey Fatone. You are not alone. And every time we raid out, every like 80 percent of the time. They say Doey Fat One. Doey Fat like, One. Yes. I do call Joey Fat, Joey Fatone, Joey Fat One on a regular basis. So that's <laughs> it. It backfired. Oh, but I you know what? You, you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. Uh, exactly, Doey. This is your fault. <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. But He's a good sport about it. He'd also ask, "What's your favorite beer?" Ooh. Okay. So like when I was in my twenties and could actually eat, drink, uh, drink good beer, because now it's it's like, ooh, nice shot. Um, so I like a good IPA. I loved a good double IPA. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I think, um, oh gosh, Ninkasi had some of the best IPAs. Um, I'd, I'd have to say, oh gosh, I can't even think of an Ninkasi IPA right now, but is that, that, is that ran... a local brewery for you? Yeah, but when I was uh, when I was East Coast, I I did see that they had some over there too. Oh. So I think they're I think they're growing. Okay. Um, but I'd say Ninkasi was was uh, the good good. Look at these the guys. Good, yeah, they that was totally totally different than the last group. Of they people really are <laughs> flippy flapping all over the place. <clears throat> Man, look at them go. Uh, but yeah, now I'm kind of I'm just like a light beer boomer. Uh, you know. <laughs> I really don't drink too much beer anymore because Fair. of that. I'm like, oh. Fair. But, um, ooh, okay. Whoops. They're going too hard. They got to slow down. They're going right, hard. You can't, you can't. <laughs> you, you got to give it a second to breathe, man. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Yikes. Now, the Rat King has, I said it right. Yay. Yes. Rat um, King. Yep. I had a question. Actually, he, uh, it resounds it resound with me a lot. When you first started streaming, were there times when you lost motivation or the desire to stream when your viewers were low or none at all? Oh, plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah, no, I. Um, it was something that I, I'm going to say had to, even though it's not past tense. There are still some days. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's like when, when expectation versus reality. Uh, yeah. I, it, there are days where, you know, you put in all this time, all this work, and then, you know, you're not meeting your own personal goals. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Wow. Dominic's the one. All right. I got you. I see you, Dominic. Mm, excuse me. Mm. This is, uh, <laughs> look at this. Okay. 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 All I'm right. Showing off. Oh. Oh. And we still oh. That was my forfeit. That is, uh, that is textbook Smurf behavior right there. Yeah, textbook. <laughs> got to derank this account. That's right. That's exactly what that mm. is. Mm -mm. Hate to see. Do, I actually do. don't want to play against those guys again. I don't. Oh, you know, yeah. Let's, let's pop back up to the to menu. Rematch. We'll a new here. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to change uh, up the 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 game mode at all, please feel free. Oh no, this is good. You're party lead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, oh. Um. But uh, no, there are there are some days where I'll I'll just be. What I have to recognize is that I'm just being hard on myself, and that you know life is happening for everybody else. And to to just remind myself that I have this incredible community of people that like genuinely love me. And so, if if my unobtainable goals aren't being reached then um i just remind myself you know it just takes time and uh you know there's there's going to be xyz variables um and to just always just be true to myself um, well, it's like it. you said and, earlier as long as you've got that one person whose day you've yeah. made better or even you, just, you made them laugh or smile maybe they're right. having a tough day if that one person that exactly. really does end up making it worth it but i'll tell yeah, you right. something i struggle with a lot i have in the past and i continue to to this day is a, is a, sometimes an overwhelming sense of imposter syndrome where I feel like I don't belong here. I don't, I'm not like those people. I'm not doing this at that level. So why am I even bothering? And it takes, you know, th there are some days that it's, it's tough to get past. Um, and I actually couldn't agree with that more. I, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, no, comparing yourself to others will be, will be the death of you just don't don't worry about what other people are what they're doing where they're at 
every journey is going to be unique and different. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, yeah I, I had to give up on that like a long time ago. And I've even kind of been seeing a little bit of the reverse of that, where it's like um, I might be seeing a little bit of growth that I'm like, okay, well, this is totally random. And um, like, I, there's no way that, you know, this this is going to stick or stay this way or, right. or anything. I'll, I'll be it's an like anomaly. part of myself that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then, you know, a month later, it's, you know, still getting gross, still going somewhere. So I'm like, this can't be like these, these got to be bots or, you know, whatever. I'll come up with yeah. all these excuses on, on why I don't deserve uh, the growth or whatever. But right. I, I, I just, I just try to maintain that demon. Um, I, it's like angel and the devil on the shoulder at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, so I don't know if that really answers the question. But... No, it answers it perfectly. No, it, it, I it totally well. get it. Excellent. Yeah. To, to kind of branch off of what you just said there, uh, yeah. you, you know, you have seen a lot of growth recently. What what factor or factors do you think are contributing to that? Because, you know, when, when it's long term, like you've been seeing, you know, like a month, you're getting consistent results. It's not yeah. so much an anomaly anymore. So what do you think right. is, is uh, contributing to that? I think, um, I, I honestly think it's the quality of the camera. Okay. I got to give it up. I got to sh shout out to the camera. I think people maybe stick around a little bit longer that uh, it looks more like a, um, a production because the mm -hmm. quality is just a little bit crispier um, okay. and not so as much run of the mill, I'd say. Um, even though I'm the same me, uh, I just I just got a different camera set up. So I don't know. I I'm on feel... the market for one of those. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was posted. I'm so I sorry. thought oh, you're fine, dude. Um, he do be amazing. But... You're all right. <laughs> Chad, you're right. Um, I also did um, a crazy subathon. It was just um, I did 12 hours plus. We met a 12 hour uh, additional goal for that, and so I did I did 26. Wow. Um, just because we ended up rolling it into the next day's regular program sh show. Right. And uh, I was like 2620. I know some people are like, where's my time? You owe me 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I think that really was helpful. I got to meet some new people. I traveled basically around the world at that time oh. because, you know, um, I was talking to people in Australia that aren't typically up at the time that I'm live. Right. And, you know, so it was it was pretty cool. I uh, got flashing lights. Thank you, new follower. Um, sorry about that. It was I, me. I, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, but uh, I think I I honestly just started um, once I saw a little bit of growth. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is this is finally like oh Take great it. pass. Let's go. Great pass. Nice shot. Just the easy layup. There we go. <laughs> um. But uh, I think uh, there was just a little like tweak in my demeanor and mm -hmm. just um, uh, just being humble. And um, I think people really just kind of gravitated towards that kind of energy. Um, and I think as long as you're having fun with the game that you're playing instead of maybe just being like so frustrated about it. Right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's just really important. You just got to remember that it's a game. You're there to have fun. And, and there are people that are sweaty and, you know, want to try hard. But... It's it's never been about. Wait, how did I get that? Uh, they, they knocked it in for you. Oh, yes, they okay, did. Okay. Yes, I was Thank demoed you, in a cloud of smoke. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, well, that leads into it. Actually, uh, that actually segues perfectly into the next question from Queen Crollo, who oh. asks, "How do you build viewer base towards the beginning of streaming? I find a lot of new streamers have a small friend base that come in pretty regularly, but a lot of times the pool of viewers 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 stay stagnant." <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a good question because I I'm point, terrible dude. at cross platform. Terrible. I like I tell myself, okay, this week I'm gonna get at, at least two clips on TikTok. I'm gonna I gotta do it. Um, but then I don't. I don't. And so I I think um, I I've ooh look at this piece of candy. <laughs> ooh, piece of candy. candy. <laughs> ooh, piece of candy. Um, I think having follower games and getting the community involved a little bit more um, has been helpful too. Yeah. Um, and just you know trying to 
involve other people as much as possible you know get them on the get them on the show they can tell their friends their friends come out they get on the show you know so it's Mm -hmm. i'm I'm seeing that happening a little bit which so i would just say don't don't game for yourself be there for your community yeah think about who this is for and when you look through that lens it makes it suddenly you're going to notice oh he cares about me i'm going to be here I noticed yeah, the same yeah. thing. I used to host a lot of follower game. I used to host a weekly follower game. And when I was doing that every week consistently, there was a ton of growth popping in. Yo, James, thanks yeah. for the bits, buddy. James. Yeah, it was uh it was it certainly helped a lot. So when when you focus on the community, it's the the You'll see a change. Oh yeah, you'll see you'll definitely see a change. Absolutely. Yeah. But breaking out like you know, like Crow said, breaking out of that initial friend group. It can be pretty mm-hmm. tough. You got to find that one yes. thing that gives you the wider appeal, whether it's the mm-hmm. follower yeah. games or the new camera, that kind of thing. You know. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good point. Um, I, I had a base community come over from Facebook mm-hmm. that were just dedicated to still support me. Love you guys. You know who you are, um, and that was very helpful. But yes, additional new people that oh, that sorry. came in and stayed. No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. This guy, no, I'm demoing him, dude. I'm mad now. Oh no. Yeah. Um, I I didn't really see much for a year, mm-hmm. uh, a year and a half maybe. Um, it yeah. wasn't until like recently, until you know, I guess I really think it was the new cab where uh, you know, I started seeing um, the new people come in and right. come back. And and An that interesting was, aspect. That's what's really important is is that they they came back at least for me it's like uh i genuinely do care and uh the more people stick around the more the more i care about them um the more i learn go. about them and and uh hopefully it's it's mutual and i think oh i, think, I, uh, I come knowing your community it certainly is yeah uh, they're all goats dude they're, they're they are great goats. people oh i would love a, fi- a family of goats that would be You're right <laughs> what do you call a group of goats I get ooh, oh, like so you know, close. you get a murder of crows, you get a sleuth of bears. Right. What do you call a group is of it goats? A sleuth? It's hey, a, Alexa? a group of bears is a sleuth. What do you yeah. call a group of goats? It's called a herd. It's got a herd. Oh. Well, I mean okay. that makes sense, but it's not. Okay, oh, Alexa, yeah. shut up. <laughs> Go- <laughs> Goatees. <laughs> That's she good, James. That's good. <laughs> Can we get some more goat uh, fun facts? She's yeah, right. like, by the way, I can do goat. No, I just nope. asked you a question. Nobody Go back to sleep, Alexa. I actually like to bring her back in here. Yes, <laughs> I would love one. Um, actually, okay. that's another segue ordering into a, a question. <laughs> okay, ordering you a herd of goats. By the way, <laughs> do you know that Amazon Prime, with your Amazon Prime subscription, you can actually get free food? <laughs> Just say yes for this seven-day trial. Oh, Adding goat's it, milk dude. to your list will have it delivered to your door once a month. Oh, God, no. Alexa. Listen, I'll take the goat cheese. I don't know about the milk. Oof, oof. Yeah, no, it does. It is not the same. It hits so <laughs> different. Let me tell you. Oof. Tried mm-hmm. it in, like in my coffee one time. I was like, no, dude. Wait, goat milk in your coffee? Well, it, it's a long story, but yeah, no. It, it was, doesn't uh, sound that long. I put, <laughs> I put goat milk in the cup. I drank. I spit. The end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. No way. Not your bad. Oh, that's so funny. I just—I mean, I don't. The details. I'm kind of scared to even know. Uh, yeah, the short yeah, story is pretty. Glaze over. We just glaze over that one. <laughs> Listen, I was in Belize. Okay, it was a farm-to-table place. That's all they had. So you were in Belize? I was in Belize. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm so jealous. The story got way cooler all of a sudden. No, I'm, I'm jealous. jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I am lemon lime jello. Oh, Bubba Dojo has a question. Ooh, Uncle Mumbles, why the Uh luscious Tarzan locks? Oh, that's a great question. Bingo, baby. Yeah. Um, For those of you, those uh, of you listening, go go check out. I mean, I'm listening too. The hair, like, mm. my hair is in a bun right now for reasons. My hair isn't around anymore, so. Um, so I just, you know, wife and I got married when we got married. It was short hair. She loves, she loved my short hair. She wants me to have short hair. I decided, you know what? Midlife crisis. I'm going to, I'm going to grow out my hair. Why not? 
and um and then i just it just kept growing it just kept growing and uh there's a really awkward phase for those of you that don't know when it's like ear to shoulder you can't do anything to make it look good so if you're trying to grow your hair out and and you're there trust me i get it just like wear hats or stuff you know get like a bandana or like just like i, I don't know there's all sorts of different ways but it's awkward and it's weird but um <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of like once you get to a certain length, you're like, all right, well, I'm here. Might as well like keep going. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I I always saw I, I just appreciated long hair on dudes. And I was like, all right, well, I there like the is. way that looks. Let's try it out. There and it is. Uh, it's, it's, nice it's been that way ever since. Beautiful pass. Beautiful. Yeah. So good. <laughs> it's just, so good. So good. Instructions <laughs> unclear. Hair is now stuck in ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's fine right back to step one i love it yeah i gotta start over man sorry oh my goodness oh, just so good just ginge has a question here shall we talk about crons oh my gosh uh, what okay. well we we can talk about crons crons is a word okay, okay. so okay. this word okay <laughs> this word came up uh so part of ryan's intro when he comes in my stream we do wordle and mm -hmm. um wordle is a five letter word and you gotta guess what the word is right. using the alphabet so i i was the the word of the day was cross and i didn't know this yet and then i had c-r-o-s and for some unknown reason to me even to this day <laughs> I, I totally forgot about the word cross <laughs> and i on my last attempt of guessing the N was accepted for Crons, and the rest is history. And now we got we got memes like hot Crons buns in my Discord. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, Crons new groove, right? Oh man! <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. Meet man. me at the Crons. <laughs> oh no! Many rivers to Crons. Yep, that's right. Oh, stop it! Many stop rivers it. to Crons. <laughs> It's only my way. Yeah, Sorry. Oh, dude. <laughs> Awful. So yeah. You're so welcome. That's, that's the uh, that's the long short of that whole cron situation. It's fresh still. So uh... cron. That's fantastic. Yeah. But see, but so, that's just going back to that community thing. You know, they, uh, you know, they they feel comfortable enough to make those jokes with you because mm -hmm, it was a funny mm -hmm. moment that they all it, yeah yeah were happy to be a part of. <laughs> and I still just. I die a little bit inside <laughs> because the things you do when you're live. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. no, no, no! Oh. What a show! What a read off Man. of that too. Beautiful. Hate to see it, but you know, gotta give him credit. Mm. It yeah. is what it is. Oof, oof. Um, but Crons apparently, real word, it accepted it. It's it's in the dictionary. I have no idea what it means. It really doesn't matter. I like I don't even. Can ask know. Alexa? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I had to bring her back in here so you can hear on mic. <laughs> She'll be my crystal ball. Oh, it's so good. But great so, question. Great question. Yeah. I love that question. It's now my new favorite thing. I can crunch that off my list. Oh, um, one of oh, no. <laughs> oh, snap. There it was. Oh, it's so good. I was going to quote one of my favorite, one of my favorite lines from the office ever. Uh, I love inside jokes. I always hope to be a part of one. So uh, I've got a question for you. Nice shot yes, first off. And this is Thank coming, you, you know, we're, we're, it's kind of taking a turn here, but talk to us okay. about your, your rig, your setup. What are you, what makes ah. Uncle, what makes the channel hum and tick? What uh, hardware are you using? What software are you using? What do you, what okay. kind of integrations? What are you, what are you working with? Yeah, those, those are great questions. Okay, so I use, uh, I use OBS and stream elements. Mm -hmm. I don't use slobs. Um, it's just what I started with and what I'm comfortable with. Um, I have uh, my my camera is a Sony ZV-01. It's a vlogging camera that I have an Elgato capture card through um, for my lights. Let me just handle that nice real quick. Shot. For my lights, um, I'm pointing like people listening can can see it. Come um, on, Dana White. I, I have uh, <laughs> I've got five color lights that I programmed through a light app called Lumia. Lumia? And I also have mm -hmm. I also have my um, 
my Twitch, uh, what is it, uh, channel point redemptions through it. And so that, that uh, runs my OBS triggers. It oh. runs um, different programs that I set for different uh, events. Um, so that's kind of like my main one. I use Pretzel Rocks because it's copyright free music. Okay. And I stick, I stick to the TOS that way so far anyways. Um, and it just, you know, it'll put the name of the song in, in the chat as a uh, part of the free uh, use of the app, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, That's great. And uh, let me see, anything else special that I use? I got a stream deck, uh, the the XL. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, sir. Oh my gosh. Oh my, my gosh. My regular one just cowered. <laughs> yeah, I think mine just turned off. Hold on. <laughs> this is turned off. I quit. <laughs> I heard and, that. Uh, it's it's great. I I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. No, I have a I have a my backup old camera that I have for like my stream starting. It's just as a overhead view of so people can just see me poking around on my desk getting ready. Oh, okay. Um, uh, my, oh yeah. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. I just recently had to get a, a new PC. So I, I treated myself and I, I got a nice Alienware desktop with a 3070. Ooh. Um, it's a 12th gen i9, um, with, with DDR5. Ooh, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, it's only 16 sheesh. so far. And I, I could, I honestly, I, I wish I would have gone with a DDR4 with 32, but um yeah, it, I'll, 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 I'll get that at some point i was gonna I'll say i there. assume it'll, it's upgradable i mean you could add more sticks oh, oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah exactly and that's what i wasn't too worried about but i just wanted to try the ddr5 so badly yeah like, oh look at the speed look at the numbers on these things but <laughs> on, honestly i don't think it's like that much faster not not noticeably faster yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're thinking about, if you're on the fence right now, anyone out there, if you're thinking about DDR5, it's not quite there yet. Stick with the DDR4. It, it's just for costs. And it, yeah, my, it, it's just as good. Yeah, mine was a custom build, and I'm doing 32 gigs of DDR4. And yeah. I'm in. It actually just had his fourth birthday yesterday. Wow! Oh, happy birthday! And happy it's birthday. still rocking and rolling. So, but I'm still on, I'm on an i7 though. I'm not in a 2060. Yeah. So. Right. On, on my last one, it was, uh, I, I don't even think it was 12th Gen i7, um, but I had a 3060 on that. And it, it's sitting over there still, but I, uh, okay, so I, I just want to give a, as a warning to anyone that's um, maybe looking to play Valorant, <laughs> um, just just make sure that you know what you're doing before you go into the BIOS, okay? Just, um, oh, is that just, what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was just trying to go too fast one day. Nice, nice save, dude. That Thank was you. great um so yeah i mean everything happens for a reason and i believe that to my core um, <laughs> and it was right before the uh the new tax cycle so i mean it works out right uh uh but uh yeah no it was it was um it was a rough moment for me to accept that i had just uh bricked my my tower it was Ouch. it was a, it was a learning lesson yikes um but yeah now i got this beautiful thing i'm learning uh how to use it how to how to make it uh just fly like i wanted to oh sorry i didn't mean to get that boost doey fatone um, says valorant is your favorite game eh mm, mm. i never played it never got to play it oh no Oof. didn't oh. even get to boot it up because it uh it is there's something i think it's just like a something to do with kernel or something like that but you have to have platform keys which can only be done on the on the thing and so i was like oh yeah let me load these default platform keys bricked bricked yep. immediately couldn't even uh couldn't even get the graphics to work after that no vga no nothing ain't no nothing working on it, it ain't it, nothing mm -mm. it was mm -mm. it was it was a pretty sad moment and i i kind of had a Swallow my pride a little bit and tell everyone, sorry guys, I can't stream. Uh, I would actually go out and roll in the grass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I say touch grass, I'm just gonna crawl in fetal yeah, position. I'll man it. I'll man it. Yeah, I'm here for yeah. it. It was it was rough because uh, yeah, no. Oh. Yep. Anyways, but uh, yeah, no. Other than that, you know, I just got some cheap lights, like um, just a little ring light from Amazon, and 
nothing too crazy there. I want to get like lasers and like a, oh cool maybe maybe some smoke, smoke and you know yeah, go like... crazy. Well, just yeah. bring out the phone party. I want to see a phone party. Yeah, okay. Phone party be fun. Yeah. I hear computers and really love foam. <laughs> it's like their favorite. <laughs> they light up and get squeaky. <laughs> oh, great pass. Oh, no, I shot. I shot. Oh. Oh, Yelio has one other question here. How did oh, you God. beat TNS Mio? In quotes, oh, Kelly. Oh, the Kelly? The Kelly, obviously. No, that's actually a great question. Uh, Kelly and I. Oh, oh, shoot! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> let me just let me just make sure I get that in there. Um, Kelly was an old co-worker before the job. Oh, look at look at that replay, I man! Know. Wow. It was Oof. a team effort. It's okay. No, no, no. That's all me. That's all me. <laughs> Uh, we were just old co-workers from a, a call center job that I had, and we had both been going through um, a leadership program, and uh, both went through and completed that and stayed in touch. I was like, oh, you know, how how is your uh, leadership shot. program treating you? Thank you. And um, I, I had moved on from the company because I was, you know, carried in a stick for seven years, and I was like, ah, I'm kind of done that waiting. That would be you're right. And... Uh, and so I can't even remember how she found out. I think it was on Facebook because we were Facebook friends and I had been doing some promoting um, just to try to get anybody to come to my, my Facebook lives. <laughs> right. And, uh, and I think she was like, oh, shoot. Oh, this is what you look like. Oh, okay. And the rest is history. Wait, wait. Yeah. What happened to Sweetie? Uh-oh. Sweetie. Sweetie Pa. <laughs> Sweetie. Sweetie. Give a little, Sweetie. Little, little, little bump, bump. Oh, Sweetie Pa, what you doing? Fell asleep. Man, these servers have been crazy, though. They have been a little... But yeah, no, he's... Uh, I, th I think Leo's a little sour that... Um, I think he thought he knew me longer. Oh. So I think I think that's where that question might be coming from. I'm sorry, Leo. Facts is facts, man. Sorry. Oh, oh what a Ooh. shot. I even got a was save that, for it after that? it went in the net. Look at this. It's Poncho. Poncho. Poncho, dude. Got scored on look, by the bot. Yikes. <laughs> oh not, my god. That's not a good look. Is this the uh, is this the last game? <laughs> is, this, is this it? Embarrassing. Oof. We, we're gonna get it. <laughs> Brazil by Poncho. Yeah, right. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Out. We won't tell. Mm. You shan't tell. Oof. Yeah. I think I will have to play this game at some point. It's 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 gonna suck up and destroy your entire life, but <laughs> yeah. you'll love every second of it. You'll love. But every you'll have of it. moments of fun. There will be moments yeah, of there will damn. Be I love this like, game. Man, this is the best game ever. And then moments <laughs> where you have to pull the controller out of your drywall because you're that so. That sounds frustrated. like me and Knockout City. <laughs> oh, oh well, there occasions. You go. There yeah. You go. We yeah, have people so. retiring and unretiring from this game like constantly. Oh, all over the what? place. It's about what three or four or five years old. Oh, it's longer than that. It's been around a long oh. time. Oh, yeah. Okay. In, in different in different oh, versions, but wow. it's been around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Super powered rocket. Just recently gone to trash. Battle rocket powered <laughs> acrobatic thing. Yeah. Cars. Whatever the original mm -hmm. name was. It's really long and hard. I can never remember it in the right order. I love uh, Rocket League. Said no one ever. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Ooh, some hoops. Let's hoop it up a little bit. Let's just change it up a little bit. See what happens. The worst game ever created, Bubba. I mean, there are days. And I yet we're here. Them. And yet here we are. <laughs> Chad, got any uh, any juicy questions? I was waiting to see if more. And I have another one here. Um, if you could interview one content creator for yeah. yourself, who would it be and why? If I could interview them? Yeah, mm -hmm. someone, somebody you you would want to do. You'd you want to do an interview with. Who would it be? Yes. Oh, man. I, um, oops, 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 oops. So sorry. So oh, sorry. Good, I was dude. late to that. I was, I, was, I was trying to think. Answers. Answers, man. You're good. I, I'm pretty sure I would love to meet Stone Mountain. I would, oh I would yeah, love yeah, to yeah. Meet him. I would love to talk to him. I, I would be so freaking nervous, but uh, 
I just, uh, he's a wealth of information, so much to learn, and uh, I just think he's just a great he, he guy. He seems like a really wholesome guy, too, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, that's kind of uh, who I started watching. That's like the first stream that I, I ever tuned into. Same, on Facebook. Religiously. Yeah. Um, and it was, uh, it was just always such a good time. I, I didn't even, like, play uh, Call of Duty. Oh. Uh, oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Um, but I was, I, I learned the game from watching him. I was, I, I learned, you know, what streaming is and yeah. was from him. And, mm -hmm. and I just, uh, I, I'd love to be in a room with him and just pick his ear a little bit. No, nice. and then just, just, you know, nerd out a bit. Yeah, that would be, that would be. Sounds because solid. Because he's, I think he's one of those streamers too, where it just feels like um, has to play the same game um, yeah. all the time. I think if he, because uh, I've seen him try to do uh, other games um, that he's way more interested maybe in, um, but it just doesn't stream as well. So, right. Um, I know he's a big uh, World of Warcraft fan, and wow, uh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say what you did there. Um. Oh, it took me a second. But who who would it be for you, <laughs> DWD? I got there. Who would it be for me? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That. Oh, you know, Stone Mountain's a great answer. I really, I really do. You know, I agree with what you said. He was the first streamer I started watching, and um, I, I kind of learned and like, oh, what is this? What is this streaming thing? He's playing a video game and people are giving him money. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> Outside of him, that's a you know I hadn't really thought about that. That's a toughie. There's a couple, um, cause I I don't watch a lot of really like streamers with like thousands and of viewers and followers. I I always try to find people who have smaller communities because I like the engagement and the interaction. So for Absolutely. me, it would be yo TNS. Thanks for the for the subby uh, to <laughs> to flow there. Appreciate oh, that. Oh boy, yeah, oh, it happens. No. Um, I'd say for me, it would have to be, golly, that's tough. There's, there's a stream. He's not a huge Twitch streamer, but I just love watching him play. You, you're probably familiar with him too. Um, and now that I've thought about it, his name is escaping me. I just call him Bacon. And he's, he's, a, he, he plays Rocket League on Twitch and he plays with our, with our bud Gigi Fire all the time. Um, oh yeah, Sir Crispy. Oh, Bacon? Sir, Sir Crispy Pagan. Thank you, Sir Crispy yeah, Pagan. I know that name. Yeah, it's a fantastic name. Yes, thank you. I yeah. could not think of the rest of that. He's just. I got you. He seems wholesome. He has great hats. Uh, I love a good hat. Yeah, he does have great. He has hat. awesome oh, yeah. hats. And um, he's no, just like really great like dude. stream goals for me, man. You know, if I could have a, if I could be as engaging and connected as he always seems to be, you know, I, I'd love to find out. Just you know. Hey, what what's the you know, how's it tick? What makes you go? He'd be the one. Yeah, oh yeah, he's great. He's like uh, he's doing voice acting. Yeah, and I was he's got like, and he's got a great sense. voice. Yes, he sounds like Seth Rogen, especially when he oh, laughs. Oh, that's an outstanding voice. Yes, outstanding voice. Oh, uh, good God, answers. I, good I answers. hit the rim for the zillion time. Tasha, what about you? Who would who would yours be? Yeah, I was going to say. The first person that actually came to mind, there's this lady. She's probably around late 60s, early 70s, named I Just Love Puzzles. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know if anybody's ever seen her before. Um, she basically, her stream is her creating puzzles, um, hundreds of pieces of puzzles. People will send puzzles to her. I think uh, in her earlier days, she was a stand-up comedian. Oh, uh, so nice. she's really funny. She's really oh, engaging. She's pretty much everybody's grandma. Uh -huh. Oh, I love that. And yes. it never fails. You can be in there and sometimes, she, and I, I'm not really a church person, but just going in her stream, just having her play like gospel music and cussing somebody out is like one of the best <laughs> oh, things on the planet. Yes. yes. Oh, that's so fantastic. I know the content would be solid. Um, she would definitely be one of the main people I would love to get in with an interview. Um, I don't know if she plays any other games because her stream revolves specifically around puzzles, I mean, it's, but it's right there in the name. For her right, personality, right. it's shot. just spot on. Oh, what a save! I, that that kind of um, I would love that. I, yeah, I, that, gonna, that sounds amazing. Exactly. I think I need to go find that channel. 
Exactly. I can. Let me see. I I have a sword. You have oh. a sword. Yes. Let's make Love sure it. I get it. Mrs. Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I get the name right while we're talking. Um, we did have another question while I'm doing this uh, from okay. Leo. Uh, uh -oh. If you had to save Doey or Tim, who would it be? If I had to save. Save. They're both dangling from a cliff. You can only save one of them. Oh. Who gets oh, the who gets the no. hand? Oh. Oh no. How dare you? Yeah, that, that's a tough How? one, man. Those those are some OG. Well, moments I figured right they would give you enough time so I could figure this out oh. and type it. So that was perfect. Thank you. Oh man. That's terrible. Oh no. Uh, Tim's family. He's 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 actual cousin. I got I gotta save uh, Tim. He's a uh, go father of one of my one of my nephews. So yeah, man. I'm sorry, Doey. Oh, oh, that's awful. There she is. Sorry, Doey. There it is. I just love puzzles. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so ready to click that. I don't I, me too. I'm, so, I'm <laughs> so excited about checking that, that channel out. I, I, I see the uh, the logo and I'm hyped. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so good. She Proper is animal. everybody's grandma. I need some more grandmas. I, I, I adore I was, her. Uh, I used to hang out in uh, tactical grandmas before she got too big. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Like, With who? Like, oh, With tactical, tactical grandma, grandma over on Facebook. Tactical grandma. grandma. Yeah, she, okay. she's great. She is great. She's actually hilarious. Yeah, and the she's really she funny and hilarious. she's really good at, at Call of Duty. Very good. Nice. Yes. Like like been in tournaments and yeah. that whole thing. So the name is but, perfect. Love it. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Kind of like WoW Grandma because she's like excellent oh. at World of Warcraft. Oh, my God. It's God, honestly incredible. seeing women like that. I mean, I really haven't seen any men, but women for me, especially me, me being a woman, resonates. It makes me not feel so bad about being a middle-aged streamer yeah there absolutely. you go, there you go. <laughs> I, I i happened upon this great stream the other day i can't remember the title of it i'll, I'll put it in uh in the you know the episode notes of this of uh this one but it was this older couple was a man and a woman he was playing mandolin she was playing i kid you not an electric accordion and they were singing together and what? it was awesome it was great Love it. i had such a good time watching them and they were funny That's incredible. and you know they were cheeky little songs from the from the 50s and 60s, you know, a little bit of country Either bluegrass way, it's influence. Perfectly niche. It was incredible. Exactly. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, the, that's kind of what it comes down to. Like, where, what, and where is your niche? Yeah. 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 Uh, no kidding. You got to have something. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. For me, it's the hair. I was going, I was just getting ready to ask, what's your, <laughs> what's your niche, Uncle Mumbles? No, I, I think, I think it does have something to do with the hair. I mean, it's literally in the logo, but yeah. Um, <laughs> But I just, uh, you know, I think it's just good vibes and positivity. Uh, low sodium, I'll say. That's good. It's it's not it's not you know salt free, but um, <laughs> uh, but I I think it's. But it's it, know, it's all gonna... good natured. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I was talking with uh, Leo actually uh, recently, and we we're like trying to figure out like what's what's the brand? What's mm -hmm. the brand? I'm like. I just think it's just being a good person. Like that's that's my brand. Can that just be my brand? Can I just like totally have everybody love everybody as like a main thing that we focus on around here? And um, so that's that's kind of where it's what it's all about. I it's just inclusive. It's fun. Oh oh oh! Get in there! Get in there! Let's go! There we go! Nice Get in there! You seal the deal. That was that was importante. <laughs> he Leo brings heavy dose of salt daily. So we're talking that like tracks. salt, like lots wife's levels of salt. Got that it. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Noted. <laughs> Gotta watch some of these folks. <laughs> um let's see. But yeah, I mean I, I know GWD, I mean you you got the beard, you got the dad thing. The the, the dad thing worked for me for a really long time. Yeah. And yep. I mean, you, you attract all kinds of people, like people that need a dad. You know what? And, that, and, and I, I was like, really I'm a happy dad that too. that's the way that people went with it. We're like, you know, there isn't really a dad figure in my life. This guy can kind of be my dad. And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally yeah. here for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do, Let's do it. it. And then you have like, me like, you ain't my dad. <laughs> so it's a trade off. I'm an only child. <laughs> <laughs> Got that OC energy. I get it. I get it. Very much. I get it. Oh, it's the energy. I got that MC energy. So, 
Um, I know that you wanted to uh, you want to talk about bus life a little bit, Uncle Marlon. Oh, sure. That, that, yes. that, that, yeah. That's what I've been calling it. So you mentioned earlier that you and your wife flew across the country and and purchased a minibus. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talk to us about it. Where did the idea for yeah, that yeah, come yeah. from? What's the plan for it? Super How far questions. along in the process are you? So, um, we picked up the bus. Thank you, thank you. Um, October of 21, I guess. That sounds right, yeah. And um, we we went that route because we had been watching on YouTube a whole bunch of van conversion mm -hmm. uh, you know, <laughs> videos, and I... I I'm a handyman and I get excited about, you know, building stuff like that. And I always thought it was super cool to like RV, but not RV. Right. And, um, so we had followed a few people that were van lifers and uh, got excited about the possibility of doing that and mm -hmm. taking road trips. My wife and I love just being on the road together and um, finding new stuff and just, you know, whatever. Um, and so we were like, okay, yeah, van life. We're cool. We're down. And then... I did, I was like, you know, there, there's these things that they call schoolies, these old school buses mm -hmm. converted into, you know, RV, same situation. But, you know, it got a little more room uh, to move around in it than, uh, you know, a, a work van, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, right. And uh, being as a bigger person, I was like, oh, yeah, that's way more appealing because I could, you know, be a little bit more comfortable, maybe. And uh, I would say... Within the same month of bringing up a school bus, my wife had secretly put in a bid for <laughs> the school bus uh, dun, 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 for, a, for a bus that was across the country. Across the country, that's right. <laughs> Literally across the um, country. About so. as far as you could get away from, almost about. as far as you could get away from where you currently live. Exactly, yep. Uh, so she had accidentally won that <laughs> with her bid. Uh huh. Um, but, because they uh, accidentally on purpose. Ye is, uh, right. ye is just pouring salt in the wound. There's that daily dose of salt we were just talking about. <laughs> was it near? Yeah. 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 That yeah, was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, so we ended up getting it, obviously, and uh, very excited about it. Uh, we had to drive it home. We, we were like, okay, do we put it on a, a trailer? Do we just have it shipped over? Whatever. Um, then we just decided it was uh, more cost effective for us just to do it ourselves. Right. Even with the uh, cost of gas. So uh, it's crazy expensive to ship a large vehicle across the country. Oh, I'm if you guys, sure. <laughs> if you guys wanted to know. Um, so it was just going to be our first trip. And it had all the seats in it. It had uh, how many? Five, six. I think it had eight bench seats in it. Eight, nine. Nine bench seats. And. Uh, you know, it had a governor on there that oh. kept it wow. not able to go longer th or faster than 55 Gotta miles drive an hour. 55, which, man. Which was uh, a real pain, real pain <laughs> trying to, uh, you know, it says you're going to make it an X amount of time, but that's if you go the speed limit, and the speed limit's like 70 mm -hmm. uh, across those open uh, highway roads. Oh, look at that. Love to see it. Ten. Love to see it. Um, so yeah, we, we, we plotted a course to get us home, but we took the long route, um, because I wanted to make some stops to see some people and we wanted to, you know, you know, be able to take a shower or whatever. Of so course. I had some, mm -hmm. I had some people, um, that were able to host us and got to meet some people from the community and other streamers such as yourself. Oh, and, nice. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was great. Um, but yeah, no, where we're at in the conversion right now, um, I had been working on it for ab about a year just to, uh, you know, take the bus components out. Right. Um, and, uh, it, to get it. Say. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so I've been working on it for about a year and, uh, it, uh, it currently has a permanent bed. It's got a dresser. It's got oh, a kitchenette nice. with a sink and running water. Oh, cool. Um, it's got some, some lights in it. Oh, we um, fancy. That's nice, oh, we yeah. fancy. We're doing it. Um, and, uh, it's got, you know, a couple accessory batteries that one charges from, um, 
solar panels. Um, oh, nice. Or or just from a 12 volt plug-in, and then we have uh, another auxiliary battery that uh, is charged from the engine directly. Oh, that's well, there you go. So we got abundance of power. Yeah. Um, but not enough to run a heater. Um, and my wife just uh, took it uh, in and out of the desert. So. Oh goodness. She, she was gonna. She was going to meet a friend in Sedona, Arizona, and it broke down in Vegas. So oh, she no. no. Accidentally had to spend a week in Vegas while we spent uh, way too much money uh, trying to get it roadworthy again. Um, but that's just part of hashtag bus life, you know? That's part of it. Hashtag that's bus life. Ha- Is there that's somewhere that uh, people listening could go check out pictures of your bus? Ooh, that's great. I, I have it in my Discord right okay. now. Okay, we'll, we'll, uh, really we'll, sh- we'll include a link uh, to your Discord. Oh, okay. yeah, we have a what do you drive section in there. And oh, nice. We've got some pictures out there, and there are um, remodel before and afters that are going to be going in there. So, yeah, yeah, feel free to come on check it out. That sounds great. Um, but, nice. uh, yeah, we actually just got back um, on Sunday from a trip because uh, – this breakdown in the in the desert was very recent um i had to i had to go to la for um for a funeral Mm -hmm. and so she we just met up there i flew one way uh to la from pdx Mm -hmm. and uh drove that thing back it was a 16 hour drive um and i was very concerned about getting over uh it's siskiyou pass which is the highest point on i-5 at 40 300 feet or something um and so i was uh i was a little worried wart about uh getting getting home safely but we we did it and the bus did great and uh you know the governor has been changed so we were able to go 70 plus uh, thank but, goodness yay you know, <laughs> street know. legal they did yeah, it well, uh, close <laughs> enough um but yeah no it's very comfortable in there um and uh, it's doing everything we want it to so far. So there will be more adventures to come in it. Because I, I do want to be able to um, do somewhat of a live show from it oh, that'd be cool. while on the oh, road. That would be awesome. I was, I was going to ask about the possibility of bus streams. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And I and on the way back the for the original trip, I did pop in um, and I did a couple shows from it. Um while live it, it wasn't great but i made it work <laughs> uh i've noticed, the practice test yeah <laughs> right right I, i've noticed lately that irl streams have become not just like people walking around with their phones in their hand have become uh quite popular and and uh mm-hmm. quite it's the intricate. truman show man yeah it's really it's really something it's really wild yep yeah i i think it's gonna be um i think there's gonna be more people looking for that sort of thing mm-hmm. in the Absolutely. future because yeah. like you said it is it's really catching on so well nice. chat do you have any do anyone else have any questions for uncle mumbles before we uh sign off here for the oh, evening we'll give you we'll, open. we'll give you uh, yeah the, the that's right the, the lines are open please call <laughs> in now 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 <laughs> Oh, well, you know, while we're waiting for any of those to pop in, uh, I just got to say, Mumbles, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Ye coming with extra salt this time. Um, oh, boy. Coming with extra salt. Continue to thank you, and we'll, we'll go to the question. Yeah, um, just <laughs> thank you first for the community you've created. Like you said, when, when I first popped into your stream the first time over on Facebook, and you were really, really new to the whole thing, it was as engaging and fun as it is now. It was just like I, f- I felt comfortable. I, I enjoyed what I was seeing and hearing. And it's just it was like we had known each other forever when I when I went that first time. So sticking around and shouting you out was a no brainer because I knew that my community was going to love you as well. And now we've we've gone on and, and you've got all these these great accomplishments that you've achieved. And uh so thank you for, for continuing the drive and for going. And thanks for coming on and being our guinea pig tonight in the kindest Absolutely. way possible. We really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> what have, other way is there? Yeah, I know. I, I'm like, wait. Think, <laughs> things have gone – I feel like things have gone super well and super smooth. So um, yeah. barring technical yeah. – uh, like catastrophic technical failure, Uncle Mumbles is going to be the first episode of Behind the Stream, which I feel like is appropriate. <laughs> 
We are pioneer. I feel like, yeah, I think I feel like I don't know that there's some kismet behind you being the first one. Outside I, of the I, fact I, that you just that agree. you're just a great you know, you're just a great person to talk to. Yep. Well, thank you guys. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for shouting no. out, Uncle Mumbles. I appreciate that, Ma. Yes, Thanks thank for you. That. Thanks. Um, thank you so much yeah, for having so, me. It's, it really is a true honor, man. Real quick I, before I you go, give the spiel. Where can where can people find you if there they're you looking go. for you? Where can they go? Give it to us right now. Absolutely. Yep. I am live weekdays on Twitch, nine to noon Pacific. Um, there is some uh some evening stuff, but uh find more information in my Discord. Um, but uh yeah, but thank you so much for uh just even entertaining this podcast. It's it's been uh absolute blast. Absolutely. Hey, thank you for, for agreeing thank to be you. here. Really happy to have you, bud. Anytime, man. All right, we'll hey. see you. All right, have a good one. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I hope uh, if Mumbles is, happens to be listening to the stream, hang around for a second. Don't leave the call. I want to talk to you real quick after we're all done. Uh, just yes. make sure he is he is still there. But chat, I couldn't be happier with the response the first night. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. It was Uncle Mumbles. Of course, people are going to come out and hang out with him. But I had a great time. I hope you all had an equally great, if not greater time hanging out. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for yes. your interaction. Thanks for your support of the channel tonight through bits and subs and and just interacting. I, we really appreciate it. Um, because this is the first episode, the timeline for when the audio, the actual streaming streamable podcast comes out is a little unclear at this point, but just keep Keep locked in here and just know that it will be coming uh, as soon as we can get it out and and produced and put together. Um, yes. You can. There are uh, – Behind the Stream does have some social media presence right now. It's brand new, but you can go check out – Check us out on Twitter at Behind Stream Pod. I tried every combination I could of Behind the Stream <laughs> with like underscores and this and that and nothing worked. So it's at Behind Stream Pod. It's uh it's been popping up here in chat right now. Um uh we've got a website right now. It's behind the stream podcast.com. There's not a lot on there yet. Uh the Twitter feed and actually there's a there's an embed of the of uh the Twitch stream. So if we're ever live, you can watch from the website if you want to as well. But you know, why would you do that? Uh but go check those out if you want to stay tuned in. We have uh a lot of really great people lined up already for these first oh, couple yeah. episodes and, and people from a wide variety of backgrounds and a wide variety of experiences in the content creation world. So you're not going to want to miss any of these episodes. Keep your eyes on the discord, keep your eyes on uh, the Twitter and we will have all the information for you. Uh, Tasha, anything you'd like to, to say to the, the kind people? Thank you for coming out and good night. No, yes. that's Death Comedy Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said pretty much everything else is said. Thank you so much, uh, of course, to uh, Gaming Wild Dad for allowing me to be the wonderful co host here as well. Thank so you for this being is a, a wonderful new venture co host. As well. So it's been fun. <laughs> yes. It has been. Y'all have a wonderful night. Have a great weekend. Keep in touch. We will see you all next week. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> I see y'all. Bye.